Captain. Thank you for coming. I'm glad, you know, we have quite a show for you tonight. A uh, gentleman who would like to be president of the United States, the senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, is here with us tonight. <laughs> Bernie ran for uh, president in 2016, as you know, and he's hoping people are still feeling the burn. Although, if you are still feeling that after three years, you should probably consult a urologist. <laughs> I wonder who has a better chance of taking down Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders or Colonel Sanders? <laughs> Yesterday, as you likely know, was a big day of testimony in Washington. The premier of Le Mollerab, special counsel Robert Mueller, appeared before the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees for nearly seven hours of Q&A. More Q than A. Mueller uh, is a uh, Marine. He earned a Purple Heart, and he is a lifelong Republican who spent the day being verbally abused by members of his own party. At one point, Melania even had to come in to tell them to be best. <laughs> Re Republicans were very eager to poke holes in any part of Mueller they could to distract us from the crimes our president committed. So Fox News even went so far as to bring in a body language expert to suggest that Mueller wasn't being entirely forthcoming. He holds his fingers together and then his tongue juts out. So that's two things you could see. Number one, when you keep your hands like this, you're showing restraint. And then when you stick your tongue out, what you're doing is you're saying to someone, I don't like what's coming out. I'm not happy with this. So hands restrained, he's holding eye contact, not moving. And then you see that tiny tongue jut and you realize this is a man who's trying to hold things back. Ah. Oh, oh, fascinating. <laughs> Is it possible they've been drinking the peroxide they put in their hair? Because <laughs> Trump and his legal team declared the case closed, but his personal attorney, Rudy Tutti Giuliani, expects that there is a bit more to come. It's not quite over yet. That, that hand is going to come up again one or two times, and we're going to have to push it down. But uh, basically, you mean the, the, body, the, body, the body was buried today. OK, now, you know, I mentioned this last night. There's something nuts going on with Rudy Giuliani's hair. He's got clown hair now. We did some digging. I think this is a fascinating evolution because I always wondered what the hell happened to Rudy Giuliani. This is a mayor. We respected him. And I think there's a parallel here. So here's Giuliani as a prosecutor back in 1982. He and Donald Trump actually met at the Comb Over Club uptown. <laughs> So now this is when he became mayor in 94. He's with his son, who seemed to know what was to come hair-wise. <laughs> Here's Rudy's hair in 2000. Not bad. Uh, this is his hair from a year ago. Fine. He's getting older. Although, if you look at him from the side, you can see, uh, the, no wonder his hair's worried. His head has a hump on it, like a camel. <laughs> but anyway, here's Rudy Giuliani yesterday. We've done nothing to alter this. All of a sudden, his hair is purple. It's like he, it looks like he was uh, eating pancakes and he fell asleep in a puddle of boysenberry syrup. <laughs> but who lets him go on TV like that? That's it. And by the way, if you scrub that magenta colored spray paint out of his hair, he looks fine. He looks like this. He's a normal, <laughs> weird old monster like anyone else. But hey, here's another crazy thing. So on Tuesday, the president spoke at this annual teen summit for a conservative student group called Turning Point USA. And for whatever reason, the official seal of the office of the president of the United States was not the official seal of the office of the president of the United States. That seal has a two-headed eagle, which is the symbol of Russia. It's holding golf clubs, <laughs> a lot of cash, and instead of e pluribus unum, it says 45 is a puppet in Spanish over the eagle. <laughs> The organizers of the event say someone on the AV crew made a mistake and they fired that person. That's quite a mistake. <laughs> I don't know how you don't notice the eagle is holding golf clubs, but of course, Donald Trump did it. Donald Trump could barely tell the difference between Eric and Donald Jr., so <laughs> he, did, he paid it no mind. And then today, the president took to Twitter to lash out at Sweden, of all places, on the subject of rapper ASAP Rocky. Now, this is real. This is his new cause. And this afternoon, he wrote, very disappointed in Prime Minister Stefan Löfven for being unable to act. Sweden has let our African-American community down in the United States. <laughs> I'm sure they're pretty upset about that. <laughs> I watched the tapes of ASAP Rocky, and <laughs> imagine that, by the way, and he was being followed and harassed by troublemakers. Treat Americans fairly, hashtag free Rocky. <laughs> and then, as if that wasn't enough, he tweeted again, Give ASAP Rocky his freedom. We do so much for Sweden, but it doesn't seem to work the other way around. Sweden should focus on its real crime problem. Hashtag free Rocky. He definitely thinks they're holding Sylvester Stallone, right? I mean, 
ASAP Rocky, if you don't know, was charged with assault after a street fight he had in Sweden. He's scheduled to go to jail, or to go to trial, rather, next week. Kanye West called Donald Trump to ask him to do something about this. And if you're wondering what prompted these tweets today, well, guess who was at the White House this morning? None other than Kim Kardashian. That's right. So our national reality show merges and marches on. <laughs> Meanwhile, North Korea this morning launched two short-range missiles into the sea. And I don't know, I, I really, I, I hate to be the one to tell you, I don't know a, a general way to put this, but Aquaman is dead. <laughs> they killed, he's dead, yeah. Some believe that North Korea did this because they want another summit. Kim Jong-un is the only leader in the world who's looking to spend more time with Donald Trump. But maybe it wasn't a military, maybe it wasn't a threat, maybe that's just how they go fishing in North Korea. We don't know. <laughs> I am Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.